Hey guys, this is Ender from the Minecraft Tutorial, and today we're going to be talking about logic gates. Uh, this is advanced redstone stuff, so if you don't know the basics, make sure to check out my basic redstone techniques. Uh, but yeah, so the first one we've already seen before, it's an inverter, or a not gate. So when it, when it receives power, it changes what state the power is in. So it's not receiving power right now, so it'll output power. If it is receiving power, it will output no power. So, so the door's open with no power. When we give it power, the door closes. Next up is an AND gate. The AND gate is basically what it does is you have to have the left lever and the right lever. So for example, just using the left lever will not open the door. Just using the right lever lever will not open up the door. You actually have to have both of them down for the door to open. This can be really useful and I'll show you how a little bit later. Next up is the OR gate. With the OR gate, both switches will open up the door so this switch or this switch will open up the door and even when they're both down it'll stay open now this this is really really awesome it's a T flip-flop and basically what it does is it changes a button into a toggle so that door will stay open forever or until I press this button again it's really really awesome and I'm about to show you how to make it alright so let's start with the inverter or the not gate basically it's just a block with a redstone torch on it just wire that to what you want to power and then wire the backside to the input I'm just going to be using a lever so when the lever is not sending out power the door is open when it is sending out power, the door is closed. Next up, let's do an AND gate. Uh, let's see, it's three across. Two redstone torches on top. One of them towards the door. Put redstone in the middle. And then wire redstone to each side. wire it to what you want to power and then wire it to your inputs and this will only work if you have both of them down next up is the OR gate so it's going to be two like this redstone close to your output and redstone on top put redstone in between your torches and then wire it to wire it to your output or your input I'm sorry there we go and then wire this side to your output so I'm going to use levers again so if I do this one, it opens up the door. And if I do this one, it opens up the door. Next up is the really cool one, uh, a T flip-flop. So we're going to put two holes in the ground next to each other. We're going to put a redstone torch at the bottom of each. We're going to build above it, like so. So you have two blocks floating in the air right here. And we're going to grab a piston. We're going to put one facing this direction, one facing this direction. We'll put a wool down. So here's what we have so far. Next up, we're going to put a redstone torch on either side above each piston and then we're going to connect them with redstone on the top alright 
So our output is going to be right here. And basically what's going to happen is when we push the button on the other side, it's going to move this square over. And this redstone is going to power this square, which is going to power this line of redstone and open the door. So let's give that a shot. Put a button right here. Yep, so you see the redstone right there, redstone torch, powering this block, which is powering the door. Now, you don't always want to have a button right here, so a way you can do this from a long distance away is put another block right here, and then wire it to where you want your button. So let's say I want my button right here. So when I push that, it works. Now I know what you're thinking. Andrew, wh what can I do with this? Well, I've put up a little demonstration on what you can do with it. Really, you can do anything that you can think of, but... So let's... Let's see. Okay, so when I press this button, this door opens. Now, if I'm, if I'm in my house and I don't want anybody to get in, I can throw on this lock so I can still get out but when somebody wants to get in it doesn't work now how I did this was the simple use of a, a not gate and an and gate so when the lock is down over here it's going to keep this redstone torch on. So no matter how many times you press this button, both of these redstone torches will not be off, which would power your door. So this is just one of the this is just one of the cool things that you can make with redstone. I mean, using these simple gates, people have made computers in Minecraft. So uh yeah, I think that's it. Uh thanks for watching my video guys. Uh if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to explain this redstone stuff to you through just text, but I'll do my best. Uh, and as always, have a great day.